a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Crohn's Disease Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease that may affect any part of the gastrointestinal tract from mouth to anus. Signs and symptoms often include abdominal pain, diarrhea, fever, and weight loss. Other complications may occur outside the gastrointestinal tract and include anemia, skin rashes, arthritis, inflammation of the eye, and tiredness. The skin rashes may be due to infections as well as pyoderma gangrenosum or erythema nodosum. Bowel obstruction also commonly occurs and those with the disease are at greater risk of bowel cancer. While the cause of Crohn's disease is unknown, it is believed to be due to a combination of environmental, immune, and bacterial factors in genetically susceptible individuals. It results in a chronic inflammatory disorder, in which the Bode's immune system attacks the gastrointestinal tract possibly directed at microbial antigens. While Crohn's is an immune-related disease, it does not appear to be an autoimmune disease. The exact underlying immune problem is not clear. However, it may be an immunodeficiency state. About half of the overall risk is related to genetics with more than 70 genes found to be involved. Tobacco smokers are two times more likely to develop Crohn's disease than non-smokers. It also often begins after gastroenteritis. Diagnosis is based on a number of findings including biopsy and appearance of the bowel wall, medical imaging and description of the disease. Other conditions that can present similarly include irritable bowel syndrome and Bussett's disease. There are no medications or surgical procedures that can cure Crohn's disease. Treatment options help with symptoms, maintain remission, and prevent relapse. In those newly diagnosed, a corticosteroid may be used for a brief period of time to improve the disease quickly, with another medication such as either methotrexate or ethiopurine used to prevent recurrence. An important part of treatment is the stopping of smoking among those who do. One in five people with the disease are admitted to hospital each year, and half of those with the disease will require surgery for the disease at some point over a 10-year period. While surgery should be used as little as possible, it is necessary to address some abscesses, certain bowel obstructions, and cancers. Checking for bowel cancer via colonoscopy is recommended every few years, starting eight years after the disease has begun. Crohn's disease affects about 3.2 per 1,000 people in Europe and North America. It is less common in Asia and Africa. It has historically been more common in the developed world. Rates have, however, been increasing, particularly in the developing world. Since the 1970s, inflammatory bowel disease resulted in 47,400 deaths in 2015 and those with Crohn's disease have a slightly reduced life expectancy. It tends to start in the teens and twenties, although it can occur at any age. Males and females are equally affected. The disease was named after gastroenterologist Burrell Bernard Crohn, who, in 1932, together with two other colleagues at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, described a series of patients with inflammation of the terminal ileum of the small intestine, the area most commonly affected by the illness. Gastrointestinal Many people with Crohn's disease have symptoms for years before the diagnosis. The usual onset is between 15 and 30 years of age, but can occur at any age. Because of the patchy nature of the gastrointestinal disease and the depth of tissue involvement, initial symptoms can be more subtle than those of ulcerative colitis. People with Crohn's disease experience chronic recurring periods of flare-ups and remission. Abdominal pain may be the initial symptom of Crohn's disease usually in the lower right area. It is often accompanied by diarrhea, especially in those who have had surgery. The diarrhea may or may not be bloody. The nature of the diarrhea in Crohn's disease depends on the part of the small intestine or colon involved. Ileitis typically results in large volume, watery feces. Colitis may result in a smaller volume of feces of higher frequency. Fecal consistency may range from solid to watery. In severe cases, an individual may have more than 20 bowel movements per day and may need to awaken at night to defecate. Visible bleeding in the feces is less common in Crohn's disease than in ulcerative colitis, but may be seen in the setting of Crohn's colitis. Bloody bowel movements typically come and go, and may be bright or dark red in color. In the setting of severe Crohn's colitis, bleeding may be copious. 
Flatulence and bloating may also add to the intestinal discomfort. Symptoms caused by intestinal stenosis are also common in Crohn's disease. Abdominal pain is often most severe in areas of the bowel with stenosis. Persistent vomiting and nausea may indicate stenosis from small bowel obstruction or disease involving the stomach, pylorus, or duodenum. Although the association is greater in the context of ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease may also be associated with primary sclerosing cholangitis, a type of inflammation of the bile ducts. Perianal discomfort may also be prominent in Crohn's disease. Itchiness or pain around the anus may be suggestive of inflammation, fistulization or abscess around the anal area or anal fissure. Perianal skin tags are also common in Crohn's disease and may appear with or without the presence of colorectal polyps. Fecal incontinence may accompany perianal Crohn's disease. At the opposite end of the gastrointestinal tract, the mouth may be affected by recurrent sores. Rarely, the esophagus and stomach may be involved in Crohn's disease. These can cause symptoms including difficulty swallowing, upper abdominal pain, and vomiting. Systemic Crohn's disease, like many other chronic, inflammatory diseases, can cause a variety of systemic symptoms. Among children, growth failure is common. Many children are first diagnosed with Crohn's disease based on inability to maintain growth as it may manifest at the time of the growth spurt in puberty. Up to 30% of children with Crohn's disease may have a retardation of growth. Fever may also be present, though fevers greater than 38.5 degrees Celsius are uncommon unless there is a complication such as an abscess. Among older individuals, Crohn's disease may manifest as weight loss, usually related to decreased food intake, since individuals with intestinal symptoms from Crohn's disease often feel better when they do not eat and might lose their appetite. People with extensive small intestine disease may also have malabsorption of carbohydrates or lipids, which can further exacerbate weight loss. Extraintestinal In addition to systemic and gastrointestinal involvement, Crohn's disease can affect many other organ systems. Inflammation of the interior portion of the eye, known as uveitis, can cause blurred vision and eye pain, especially when exposed to light. Inflammation may also involve the white part of the eye, a condition called episcleritis. Both episcleritis and uveitis can lead to loss of vision if untreated. Crohn's disease that affects the ileum may result in an increased risk for gallstones. This is due to a decrease in bile acid resorption in the ileum and the bile gets excreted in the stool. As a result, the cholesterol-slash-bile ratio increases in the gallbladder, resulting in an increased risk for gallstones. Crohn's disease is associated with a type of rheumatologic disease known as seronegative spondyloarthropathy. This group of diseases is characterized by inflammation of one or more joints or muscle insertions. The arthritis in Crohn's disease can be divided into two types. The first type affects larger weight-bearing joints such as the knee, hips, shoulders, wrists, or elbows. The second type symmetrically involves five or more of the small joints of the hands and feet. The arthritis may also involve the spine, leading to ankylosing spondylitis if the entire spine is involved or simply sacroiliitis if only the sacroiliac joint is involved. The symptoms of arthritis include painful, warm, swollen, stiff joints, and loss of joint mobility or function. Crohn's disease may also involve the skin, blood, and endocrine system. The most common type of skin manifestation, erythema nodosum, presence as raised, tender red nodules usually appearing on the shins. Erythema nodosum is due to inflammation of the underlying subcutaneous tissue and is characterized by septal paniculitis. Another skin lesion, pyoderma gangrenosum, is typically a painful ulcerating nodule. Crohn's disease also increases the risk of blood clots. Painful swelling of the lower legs can be a sign of deep venous thrombosis, while difficulty breathing may be a result of pulmonary embolism. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia, a condition in which the immune system attacks the red blood cells, is also more common in Crohn's disease and may cause fatigue, a pale appearance, and other symptoms common in anemia. Clubbing, a deformity of the ends of the fingers may also be a result of Crohn's disease. Finally, Crohn's disease increases the risk of osteoporosis, or thinning of the bones. Individuals 
with osteoporosis are at increased risk of bone fractures. People with Crohn's disease often have anemia due to vitamin B12, folate, iron deficiency, or due to anemia of chronic disease. The most common is iron deficiency anemia from chronic blood loss, reduced dietary intake, and persistent inflammation leading to increased hepcidin levels, restricting iron absorption in the duodenum. As Crohn's disease most commonly affects the terminal ileum where the vitamin B12 slash intrinsic factor complex is absorbed, B12 deficiency may be seen. This is particularly common after surgery to remove the ileum. Involvement of the duodenum and jejunum can impair the absorption of many other nutrients included folate. If Crohn's disease affects the stomach, production of intrinsic factor can be reduced. Crohn's disease can also cause neurological complications. The most common of these are seizures, stroke, myopathy, peripheral neuropathy, headache and depression. People with Crohn's often also have issues with small bowel bacterial overgrowth syndrome, which has similar symptoms. In the oral cavity people with Crohn's may develop chylitis granulomatosa and other forms of orofacial granulomatosis, pyostomatitis vegetans, recurrent aphthostomatitis, geographic tongue, and migratory stomatitis in higher prevalence than the general population. Cause While the exact cause is unknown, Crohn's disease seems to be due to a combination of environmental factors and genetic predisposition. Crohn's is the first genetically complex disease in which the relationship between genetic risk factors and the immune system is understood in considerable detail. Each individual risk mutation makes a small contribution to the overall risk of Crohn's. The genetic data and direct assessment of immunity indicates a malfunction in the innate immune system. In this view, the chronic inflammation of Crohn's is caused when the adaptive immune system tries to compensate for a deficient innate immune system. Genetics Crohn's has a genetic component. Because of this, siblings of known people with Crohn's are 30 times more likely to develop Crohn's than the general population. The first mutation found to be associated with Crohn's was a frame shift in the NOD2 gene, followed by the discovery of point mutations. Over 30 genes have been associated with Crohn's. A biological function is known for most of them. For example, one association is with mutations in the XBP1 gene, which is involved in the unfolded protein response pathway of the endoplasmic reticulum. The gene variants of NOD2 slash CARD15 seem to be related with small bowel involvement. Other well-documented genes which increase the risk of developing Crohn disease are ATG16L1, IL23R, IRGM, and SLC11A1. There is considerable overlap between susceptibility loci for IBD and mycobacterial infections. Recent genome-wide association studies have shown that Crohn's disease is genetically linked to celiac disease. Crohn's has been linked to the gene LRRK2 with one variant potentially increasing the risk of developing the disease by 70%, while another lowers it by 25%. The gene is responsible for making a protein, which collects and eliminates waste product in cells, and is also associated with Parkinson's disease. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?